And you guys will have uh, different yeah. ones. Different ones, in. white ones, silver ones, gray ones, any of those. All of that kind of stuff. That was very detailed. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Not a problem, Hank. Uh, if I run into anything, I'm going to be coming back here. <laughs> I mean, it's a Mercedes. I mean, what more do you want? You drive an Audi? This is a Mercedes. I mean, how do you? I mean, look at this. You're used to this high pollutant society yes, I am. here. Yeah. I like the fact that it's built on a van chassis and it's easy to drive. So that's what we're looking at here, right? Yes, sir. So this is the number one question that people ask us every day when it comes to the Class B RVs. I mean, you know, here at Sunshine State RVs, this is all we deal in. Welcome back to Stranger Palooza. I'm Hank Strange. And I'm Lola Strange. And today we're going to talk about the top five coolest and most innovative camper vans that we've seen in 2021. Now, that means like we actually were there, we physically right. saw those vans, we went through them, and we made videos on them. So we're gonna get into that right now. It's gonna be, uh, you know, it's gonna be some conversation here, some disagreements between sure. Lola and myself. We're gonna argue it all out right now. Let's get into it. <gasps> So let's set some ground rules just getting into this. This is mm -hmm. the first time Lola and I have ever done a video like this. I think our channel really, Stranger Palooza really took off in January when we bought this van that you guys see behind us. That is a 2021 Coachman Beyond and it's built on a 2020 Ford Transit chassis, right? Right. The, uh, the biggest, highest, <laughs> most powerful one you can get 350 what is it 350 hd hd yeah now we have not seen every single camper van that came out in 2021 right so that's just the way it is right we've we've actually been to a lot of places we've been to a lot of shows yeah been to a lot of shows been to a lot of places but obviously you know you can't see everything maybe we'll we'll try in 2022 but we still won't see everything mm -hmm. so in this, we particularly want to talk about what we saw, right? That's right. What we saw, mm -hmm. what we found to be cool and innovative at the same time. Right. Mm -hmm. And I want to make a difference between stats and opinion here in the video. So in a second here, we're going to talk about some of the stats. But the thing is, is if we just went by what were the most popular vans by views and stuff like that, that has some kind of standing, I think. I think it, it has merit because it shows what people are, were most interested in. For sure. Absolutely. It says this is, for whatever reasons, the, the vans or the videos that we did that you guys were the most interested in. Mm -hmm. However, I think that there was some really cool and innovative stuff that we saw. And maybe, maybe it was my fault. Maybe it's just the way things worked out. Maybe just the algorithm. Those, that, that, those vans or those videos didn't get as many views as, you know, Maybe I thought they deserved, I guess. There's still time. People could still watch them. You never know the way these things work. Yeah. It's just one of those things. So I just want to say to everyone that we're separating stats and opinions. And this video is about opinions, but I will give you the stats on the top five videos. Just, you know, what was the most popular stuff that you guys saw here. And then we're going to get into what we thought from actually being there and looking around those things that was really cool. And then if you guys agree with us or it makes you curious, you can actually go look at those videos. Yep. And if you disagree, leave your comments below as well as to why you right. disagree and we'll talk about it. It's totally fine. I don't mind. People can <laughs> people can argue and fight about stuff. One of the things, and I have notes here, just, uh, you know, it helps keep this organized and probably saves us some time. I think there's one video on our list that was actually in the top five or top 10 of videos versus on, on views. And that's the reason why I'm explaining that to you guys. And then the other thing that I wanna say before we get into the video is obviously I think the van we have is the most awesome. That's what everyone thinks. Of course. If you spend a lot of money or if you spend a little bit of money, if you spend your money and you buy something, to you that's gonna be the most awesome. So for that reason, we're kind. We're taking the coachman beyond out of the running That's right. officially That's right. for that reason. But mm -hmm. I really do think that Coach makes a good product. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that we bought it. At this point, I haven't seen anything else this year that I'm like, okay, this is so, so, so awesome that our van has to go. Right. I don't that's know. Your, no, that you're ready I don't to, know if you to replace have. it. No, no. Okay. I'm pretty happy with it as it stands. Yeah. So this is, you know, spiritually... <laughs> spiritually there. I just don't think it's fair 
because it's our van and I think we all we also have a pretty good relationship with Coachman and you know I think we have a good relationship with some of the companies that are in here as well Mm -hmm. but my van should come out of it agreed okay all right that being said let's uh go into stats right you want to do that for this year 2021 That's mm-hmm. starting in january we actually started stranger palooza before i don't know how many probably like two years ago or something like well, that i would say but the channel really didn't go anywhere until right. we bought this van it took off when the coachman beyond came into came into the picture yes so starting this is like really starting from january up till now we've gotten very close to two million views mm-hmm. it's amazing that's pretty awesome. Close to 11,000 subscribers. Thank yes. you to all of you out there that sub to our channel. Right. Thank you to you to you folks. Uh, make sure that you, uh, what is it, you got to ring the bell and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, they, now they, for the they, they, I think they've heard the, of the YouTube spiel. <laughs> enough times from other channels. Yeah. Before we get into our countdown of what we thought was cool and innovative, I'm going to go to the top five videos just by uh, views. That's right. Okay, do you, do you want to start? Um, we I'll can. Let, I'll let you yeah. get number one. We're going, in this, we're going from one to five, okay. but in our actual list for this video, we'll go from five to one. Okay. So what was so the number one the video? The number one most watched, viewed video is Impressive Upgrade. That was the 2022 Winnebago Travada 59 GL yes. on a Ram Pro Master. Right. And um, so Ram Pro Master is only going to make it into this video, I think, here and maybe no i think this is it for for this video i think so uh, yeah we we have done videos comparing all the three chassis uh the pro master though for me is a little bit too small so being a bigger dude yeah, it's too small for you yeah i don't like it's the pro master for that yeah it has mm-hmm. it's got really good power it actually right. has more power than the, the mercedes uh-huh um and it's front wheel drive so even the four by four sprinter vans are rear wheel drive and until you put them into 4x4. So I'm not trying to knock the ProMaster. It's incredibly popular, as you see here with the Winnebago. Mm-hmm. That's what it's happened. It's popular. It's easy to drive. It's zippy. It's got good power. Yeah. You know. It's so. just not for me. I'll be honest with you guys. Yeah, that's and, all. and I don't think it's the best. Out of the three chassis, I don't think it really hits what I need. So for me, it really doesn't hit that. Okay. But there you go. There's going to be people who have their opinions about that. If I had to choose to build something, I wouldn't really build it on ProMaster. To me, the best is all-wheel drive mm-hmm. and like as much power as possible. The Sprinter van does not have a lot of power. ProMaster has more, but the, the Transit is really the, the best when it comes to power and being all-wheel drive and most usable all the time. You don't have to put it into 4x4. The computer there is going to figure out if you need... Uh, if you need something, if you need to change the ratio of where that drive is going, and then you can manually switch it like into snow mode and stuff like that. So I'm just saying for anyone who wants to get mad about uh, my opinion of the ProMaster, if I was going to build, I would build on a Transit. And if I had to pick a second, the second would be the Sprinter, just because of size. Right. Yeah. I hope the companies out there will... Do something about that. Maybe ProMaster can be improved. They can make them somehow bigger. I don't know about that. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think that's Everything happening. will be improved if it's all-wheel drive. I, I wish the Sprinter vans were all-wheel drive and had more power. So, All right. Uh, so the number, number two video mm-hmm. is the Coach and Beyond. That was our full walkthrough that we did with Kyle yeah. over Sunshine State RV. That was pretty popular. Yeah. And so... Nothing more to say other yeah. than I think it was very informative and provides a lot of information yeah. to new owners out there. Yeah, by the way, that uh, ProMaster video, the Winnebago Travado, got 320,000 plus views. And the Coach so, from Beyond is not far behind, 250,000 yeah. 250,000, right. Um, we already covered that. We think it's awesome. Like I said, spiritually, it's in here. Okay, you're supposed to silence your phone, Lola. Yeah, Lola is not as professional <laughs> as me. That was your son texting, by the way. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, yeah, just my son. <laughs> not your not your kid. Uh, I don't know where. I didn't have any of Only me and you had kids, so far as I know. Okay. Number three is super luxurious 4x4 Class B van. Um, the new 2022 American Coach Patriot MD4. Yep. And that has 118,000 views. American Coach builds 
very luxurious vans. Yeah. Um, some people might argue if I say the most luxurious, and there probably are some companies that could be more luxurious in terms of making camper vans mm -hmm. that we haven't seen. Yeah, that we yeah I think yeah. so that we haven't seen. But yeah. in this but, year of seeing <laughs> Class B American vans, Coach, that's awesome. what, yeah, that's what we've seen. Yes. And there is an American coach on this, on our actual countdown list once we get past all of this. Number so, four. Yeah. Number four is better than Winnebago Echo. Uh, 2022 Coachman Cross Trail 20XG Class C camper van, which has 117,000 views. And it's a video we put up not too long ago, actually. Mm -hmm. So that would be a Class C. Right. And the Echo is incredibly popular. Um, I think the Echo started before 2021. I think so too. Yeah, I think the Echo, the Winnebago first showed their Echo before 2021, but in 2021, people started seeing that a lot. Mm -hmm. And when we saw the Coachman version of a Class C somewhere in that category, um, we thought that was cool. We put it up there. It actually got to number four, and it's on our list. Yes. On our particular list. So, and then number five, you can go for that. So number five is the best Class B chassis for camper vans. That was the one that you and Nick did. Yes. We compared the Sprinter, the ProMaster, and the Transit. Yes. So that's like a before you buy video that I did with Nick from Sunshine State RV. And that has 104,000 views. So, you know, I think that's in the category of what we're talking about here. And on the channel, we actually did that video with Nick, and then we did another video where we're driving, mm -hmm. you know, the three All different three chassis. chassis choices you can get. Yes. And then very recently, Nick and I, we did that video driving them um, in, in Indiana, Indiana. Mm -hmm. with Coachman. Mm -hmm. um, and then Nick and I recently did a video talking about the lengths of the Sprinter vans. Yeah. So there's basically three Sprinter van lengths. We did a video comparing those, so we're trying to keep that kind of stuff up because obviously people like that. Um, and a big shout out to Sunshine State RV. Our channel itself has grown a lot because of their help. One, we bought a van from them. Right. Which is, you know, not everyone buys their vans, Lola. So really? we actually bought, no, people don't. <laughs> There's people doing this that didn't buy their vans. The, oh, the companies okay. have uh, given loan leased for free or whatever a van to okay. them. Okay. And I'm not knocking that. Okay. Uh, you know, we we bought our van, and I mm -hmm. that's the method I prefer. Um, I think it's you know if you if you disclose it to folks that someone has given you or leased you something for free, whatever it is, that's all good. Let's move on to the top yeah. five. Yeah, let's Most move innovative. on to top five here. Yeah, we don't want to drive everyone crazy. We're actually filming this. Um, what is is this? This is Christmas Eve. It is. Yeah, we're filming this Christmas Eve. It mm -hmm. might be the last video. We put year. out for this year. Mm -hmm. So happy new year to everyone out there when you see this. I wish everyone out there prosperous, happy, healthy, uh, healthy 2022. <laughs> That's right. The number five video, we just spoke about it. Well, the number five van, because now we're talking about the van. Number five, themselves. I'm sorry, yes, my bad. The number five van on our list of That's what right. was the, the, uh, Innovative and cool. The most innovative, cool vans that we saw, right? Mm -hmm. That right. would be the cross trail that we just talked the about, cross 2022 trail. cross trail. So why did you like the cross trail? So I'm just going to hit some folks with stats out there. The cross trail is 108K starts. MSRP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Versus the Echo, which is, you know, what everyone was really super excited about, like I said, being 171 is where it's starting. Yeah, it's a little up there for people. Yeah. So in the Class C category, we do mostly vans here. We we do videos about a whole bunch of sure. other stuff. So I've got it's mostly car, Class Bs, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've got car videos. I've got some camper van videos. I've got some stuff with Jeeps. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got some supercar stuff here. Mm -hmm. But w basically, the thing everyone's coming to our channel for is the Class B. Class B vans. So where does a Class C come in? I think that's just like the edge of where you can go. For marketing purposes, people are saying you know, B plus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the edge. And I think that to me, the class B vans are awesome just because they're just vans. And obviously they cost more money because you've got to put everything within this mm -hmm. set footprint, right? Right. They're small, they're nimble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But class C's are actually more affordable because they just run it off of purely just a front cab and the exposed or stripped down chassis mm -hmm. of that van. And then they build it. There's a shell 
the that they build around that. So it makes it more affordable and they're able to put more stuff on it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, you oh, know, it's, more room. It's, it's kind of there. And some people, some people are looking for that. What I think about the, uh, the cross trail is it has lots of pe potential for a class C. Um, it has lithium in it, which is cool. Mm -hmm. It's got uh, Dometic appliances, which Dometic makes some cool stuff, I mm -hmm. think. It's got a uh, huge like storage thing in the back. Yeah. The garage was your thing. You love the garage. Well, versus the Echo. If you look at the Echo, so, you know, this is one of the things when we actually saw Echoes and we didn't do an Echo video as of yet, like an official Echo video. Right. We but didn't we do will. one. In 2022 we, for sure. But we saw the Echo mm -hmm. and we went through it because when I first bought this van, um, Echoes were starting to show up mm -hmm. at the shows we went to. Mm -hmm. Um, Tampa, for example, okay. uh, Ocala, mm -hmm. I believe there was one there. There was definitely one at Tampa. Okay. And at that point, I wasn't making a ton of videos about this stuff because right. I was just getting into it. So that's why we didn't do it. You also didn't like the Echo. I wasn't, you, I wasn't at you, the Tampa show. You claim you don't even remember. I wasn't at the Tampa show. You never went to the Tampa show at all? I went to the Ocala show. I think you went to the Tampa show, but I, I could be I, wrong. I didn't go to the Tampa show. I went to the show. Tampa show by myself? Mm -hmm. Okay, we went, to, so then that was the Ocala show where you saw one, that you weren't interested in it. You didn't like it. Perhaps, I, I'm yeah. not sure. So we, that's why there's no video on that, but we have seen it. Mm -hmm. We've seen it. You see, Lola does not remember, that's why she's looking at me like I that. I didn't go to the Tampa show. It doesn't matter, have you seen an Echo this year? I've seen an echo on video, yes. No, you've seen one in person. In person, okay. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Lola really didn't like the echo. She saw one. Uh, I, I, every time I tell her that she saw it, she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. But she actually saw it, and she was like, I don't like that. So the thing about it is mm -hmm. the echo does have a garage in the back. Right, smaller. But it's smaller than, than what the cross trail has, right? The cross trail in the back has like a, the, a loft bed that goes up and down. Mm -hmm. So you could put it all the way up and put a whole bunch of stuff in there. You know, it's just more like, usable I, space back there versus the Echo, which has a nice bedroom, mm -hmm. but it's set and it doesn't move. And then behind that, there is like a heated garage space. So I think right. that gives you some right. options. I, I yeah. like the, the separation of the bathrooms in mm -hmm. the cross trail. Mm -hmm. um, so I like that uh, feature of it. I like the garage space as well. Yes. But I think that looking at it recently, in the last couple of days prior to making this video, looking mm. at the Echo, I think the Echo exterior looks better aesthetically. I like the way that the roof line just swoops into the front of the of the um, the Ford. Yeah, in front you know, of the cabin. In front of the cabin. Yes. I like the look of that. It just looks more sleek and a little bit more designed to me. So I like the exterior of the cross trail better. I think the Echo looks better. Yeah. But I think the cross trail has a better exterior. Um, I like in the back of it, there's kind of like an angle going up. Hmm, maybe that's maybe that just not, hasn't, serves no purpose to some people, but I kind of like how that looks in the back. And I like how it looks in the front. Uh, the, at least the cross trail we saw had like a bull bar up front and all that kind of stuff. And I, to me, aesthetically, it looks better in the front, but I just think it had... Um, it pushed the boundaries a little. Now, I know the Echo has like that cool bathroom that you could move it that's, somehow. That's, that's a nice design. But the cross trail had like a split bathroom. So there's a mm -hmm. separate shower that you can go into and then a separate toilet. And I like that because mm -hmm. I think that makes it more usable. It you know, roomier. someone could be in the toilet and, and someone could be in the shower, I guess, if you have enough water doing stuff at the same time. You know, you could just separate those things. So. I kind of like that better. The negatives, and nothing on nothing on any of these lists is perfect. The negatives for me with the cross trail would be that the build itself wasn't up to quality with what you get from the Coachman Class Bs. Class B. Because they're two separate, they're in two separate um, parts of Coachman itself. Mm -hmm. So the Class Bs have that really nice furniture inside that's made that's by right. the Amish. Mm -hmm. You can really tell, see, and feel that quality. Mm -hmm. And I think just from checking it out, and even other people I spoke to that checked it out, that's where it kind of falls short. Mm -hmm. But it's, I mean, we're talking like $60,000 cheaper. Right. So for me, I think for people who like a Class C kind of thing like this. Or I feel like they need a little bit more room than a B has to offer. Well, no, what I'm saying is if they're looking at these two, and this is why I think that video did well and was on the top five of views, okay. but also in, okay. our, in our opinion, something cool. 
people are arguing about, oh, well, the Echo is obviously better. And I think that in lots of ways, what Winnebago built is really cool. Mm -hmm. And the problem is the, the price of what it costs. And if you buy it and then you have to change things, like I was looking at Fit RV and they changed a whole bunch of things in there, which, you know, some people do that and some people don't. Mm -hmm. But if you buy that and you spend 170 and then you have to change and modify stuff, that's like, a why, lot of money. Why'd you spend all that money? Yeah. I would, for me, I know I'm going to modify things. Mm -hmm. So I would rather spend less money and then upgrade all the stuff. If I want more lithium batteries. Right, you can if, do all that over time. Yeah, if I want mm -hmm. lithium batteries and a generator and this thing and that thing. Mm -hmm. If I save myself $60,000, then we don't have to fight about that too much when I drop like a, you know, like 30, 40,000 right. adding stuff. To add the things you yeah. want. If mm -hmm. you spend 170 and then rip a bunch of stuff out of there. Well, hopefully you'll spend so. 170 and not have to rip anything out of there, and it's good to go as it is. Uh, but yeah, it I depends know, on who people, you are. <laughs> yes, it depends on who you yeah. are. All right, so you ready to go to number four? I am. Okay, what's number four? The number four was the 2022 Mode LT, which is right. storyteller. a storyteller. Yeah, so that's about 153K starting. Mm -hmm. It's the smaller Ford. Right. So it's the 19 foot Ford Transit. It is, though, it's not on a dually. Mm -hmm. Right. But it mm -hmm. is all wheel drive and it does have the power. It has the power. Yeah. You know, I think one of the things I liked about it also is that it has the roof rack already mm -hmm. on there. It has the ladder to get up there. I like the roof rack. Uh, I'm sorry, the rooftop where you can actually kind of sit out there like a decking mm -hmm. material to sit out there. Really take in nature if you're mm -hmm. in a really great place um, parked for the night. I'm not too up on the cassette toilet and the whole shower situation, but I mean, it's you know, to each its own. Well, so I prefer to have the dedicated shower and bathroom situation. Right. Um, but it does have, I think, a lot of um, modularity for the back backside for mm -hmm. hauling, you know, bicycles and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, I thought it was well put together, you know, built wise. Yeah, I think Storyteller is a great story. <laughs> I know that sounds uh, mm -hmm. ironic or maybe not, but storyteller out of making these small sprinter vans that are more capable right so the folks who want something bigger than let's say like a jeep a wrangler mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and they want to yep. go to something bigger they go to the sprinter vans you can mm -hmm. get them four by four right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the smaller ones are smaller but more capable they're lighter more you nimble. know you could yeah, yeah. if you it you know, they can't go everywhere a Jeep could go, but they can go more off-road. Right. And there's a whole ton of vans you can see. There's, if you look at, like, Alvan videos, um, mm -hmm. Alvan makes accessories. They don't actually make vans, but they make accessories. So if you've got, Rev, uh, like, a Revel and all those other small... Smaller um, footprint vans. Yeah. That's what everyone does, and that can go more off-road. And Storyteller, I think, has in the last couple of years, really gotten a lot of people's attentions for making very cool vans like that. Yeah. So even when we, after we bought our van and I went to the Tampa RV show, which we're going to next year, we saw Storyteller and we thought they were really cool, but they were all Sprinter vans. Mm -hmm. And that's where my problem comes in, right? I don't really want to buy a Sprinter van because I don't think it has any kind of power, right. yeah. but those are so cool and so cute. And you think, oh, it's so capable. So it was kind of surprising when we went, where do we go that we saw these? Overland Expo. Yeah, so that's where we saw them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we went to Overland Expo. I didn't even expect that Storyteller was working on it. And, and like, they, they're they really doing some innovative stuff. Like, the, you're talking about the shower. Mm -hmm. They're figuring out ways of, there's, like, you can get a shower and a toilet in there thing, but you have to get used to it. So now... Even though it's small, they, they gave you those things. Yeah. So when we went there and I saw that they did a, tr a Ford Transit version, I was like, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Because that's what I would want to get over a Sprinter van. Just like I was talking about earlier in this video, I don't really like the ProMasters. The Sprinters look really good. I just mm -hmm. don't, they just don't have enough power, okay. you know. So an all-wheel drive is always functional, mm -hmm. right? And being smaller like that, it was great that I, I don't know if anyone else, like out of the boutique, there's different kind of builders. There's like personal builders, people who build stuff themselves. Then there's like the boutique builders. So that's a company, but they're very small. They build small numbers. And then there's bigger 
companies. Um, so that would be like your American coach, Coachman, Winnebago, uh, Winnebago uh-huh. Jayco, all of those guys. Right. Storyteller would come into the to the boutique category. I think so. But they've been growing because they're making really cool vans. So so to see this version of it on a Ford Transit, you were super excited. Was awesome. Yes, mm-hmm. I thought it was really cute. Really, you know, and it had it. If I wanted to go small like that, yeah. I would go for for something like the storyteller. It has mm-hmm. all that cool stuff. Oh yeah. It has all the it has like their, their seat. Yeah. They have a seat in there that could be a cajillion different That's positions right. and transforming. Yeah. The Mode LT is really ready to go when you buy it. There's nothing to do or fix about it in yeah. my opinion. If I you're think looking you for small if you're if if you seriously want to figure out what's the best van to get, I think that and you're looking for a small van. You don't want one of these bigger vans, right? You just think that's too much. Before you get the smaller, shorter, 19-foot Sprinter van, I would say get a... Consider um, the, the mode. Well, consider getting an all-wheel drive transit that's 19-foot, right? Mm-hmm. That's all-wheel drive with the same power and everything. Mm-hmm. And so if you want it already built, I think Storyteller is a great place to go to because of all the cool... Yeah. stuff that comes along with it mm-hmm. and it's going to give you some kind of value because storyteller is building a name one of the things you have to realize is if you build a van yourself it really has doesn't have that much resale value right. i'm not saying it has no resale value but you have to find someone that likes what you did with it to buy it mm-hmm. versus if you bought a van from an established company that companies know when you go to trade it in, there'll already be a value, right. you know, it's going to be easier to sell it, etc. instead of having to convince someone. I know people do that kind of stuff. Typically, those are people who are making videos and everyone knows, oh, their vans are awesome. I want right. to buy that van from them. Mm-hmm. So that's mm-hmm. something to think about. To Storyteller is building a name and that's a big thing. And they're building it because they're doing really cool stuff. I agree. So if you're looking for something, if you're if you like smaller and all that and you just want to get out there and go on an adventure, you have to get used to that shower thing. Mm-hmm. You, know? like you might be able to get used to that, Lola. Maybe. But yeah, right now, I'm, I'm okay with this. <laughs> right. <laughs> In other words, Lola, not down with that. All right. So. <laughs> All right. So number three yeah. is the Dometic Touareg build that we saw. Touareg. Touareg yeah. build that we saw at SEMA yeah. this so, year. Right. So that is a sprinter uh-huh. with dual sliding doors. I don't think it's the, it's not the extended sprinter. But it's probably, what is it, like, I don't know. I guess when the Sprint is like the 170, but it's not the 170 extended. Okay. Um, but it has dual sliding doors. Right. So and, the thing, that, and that was, we saw Larry from Dometic right. at the that SEMA was, show. That was his build. Yeah. And I think the thing about that particular van and why I made the top five is because it speaks to what's possible. Mm-hmm. And so this video is about cool but innovative. And I yeah. think what's possible was the dual sliding doors was one thing. Right. There were a lot of cool things on that van, but the dual sliding doors definitely was like, yeah. you know, the statement piece. Right. And I don't think Larry told us what it cost for him to build that van, but it's probably in the easily it could probably be in two hundred thousand dollar range. Oh, easily. Because yeah, um, on on Torex site, um, something similar to that starting was like one seventy, one yeah. seventy five. So. So, yeah. So Torig builds up the van. And um, when we look, when we're looking at this van, the sliding door thing is really cool. So I didn't know this before on, on, you know, and I've seen Larry's stuff. I've seen that van before we went to the show. Right. And and I thought, wow, that's really cool. You could do dual sliding doors. I didn't even know that was a thing. So that I think is really cool. And the way he laid it out Mm -hmm. is, and the way that they built it, you know, it just really, it it has a lot of room, but they eliminated a bathroom. So there's no shower, there's there's no toilet in there really. Right. I think he has a cassette toilet. Cassette toilet. And I think one of the spray things on the back side, so you can wash it for showering. But if you look at, if you look at that video, you'll see Larry is like full caveman, you know, outdoorsy (laughs) kind of dude. So uh, yeah, that's not a problem for him at all and he's happy with that but man the cabinets in that van were beautiful really nice. the um the interior of that van the, was beautiful the walnut the wood accents in there really yeah. made it feel really warm and cozy in there you mm-hmm. walked in there and it was just like really cozy yeah i would say um you know the big slide outs that he had as well those were awesome you in know his garage area yeah the mm-hmm. the the panels were all wrapped in like a really nice tough material mm-hmm. you know it, it was just 
from someone who I think really gets out there and lives outdoors and really thought about everything, I think that was just a really cool build that I saw that's not like everyone else's build mm -hmm. that you see. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. Even just the accessories that Torrig and other companies had in there was awesome. Yeah. The way that he Very that he nice. laid everything out. Yeah. yeah. So kudos to that. Mm -hmm. And really, at SEMA show, we didn't see a lot of. We saw vans. We saw a couple of vans there. We did another. What other van? We did the. Oh, va we the, did the Fari cars. Yeah, we did the Fari cars, and that was kind of like a limo s sort of thing. So. We didn't see any other camper vans no, there. Not like we, that. No. No. We saw a couple of other vans themselves, but mm -hmm. n nothing in the Class B. That was the only Class B we saw at SEMA show, mm -hmm. which was kind of disappointing, but not in what uh, Larry did and what we saw there at Domatic. I would really recommend everyone take a look at that. They're just, you know, doing awesome stuff, really, mm -hmm. pushing the boundaries. He, he had um, his build was lithium. You know, and he had the 12 volt AC and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. He didn't have a lot of batteries. I think he had like 300, 300 amp hours amps, or something. That's what he said. Yeah, I would have gone for more amp hours, and I would definitely need uh, some kind of shower, bathroom situation, situation. in there. Mm -hmm. And and then obviously my problem with that is let's run a van. So right, it's not, not that much power. power. Yeah, I my van is more powerful than your van, okay. Larry. Okay. Okay. Uh, but your your van's four by four. You probably know how to go out and get all go all over the place better than I do. <laughs> so, but that was cool. That was a cool one. Yeah, it was. What is the number two, Lola? So let me just say this before Lola says anything on this. We kind of don't agree on number one and number two. Mm -hmm. This is a problem between me and Lola. <laughs> we don't agree on it. Now, technically, we are married. Uh -huh. And Lola technically is the boss of me, you know, but what? not the boss of Stranger Palooza. Okay, I'm the boss of Stranger Palooza. I'm not the boss so of you. I, we do it together. Yeah, you're the <laughs> boss. You're my wife. The, you know, I think dudes who are married out there know that the wife is the boss. But straight when it comes to Stranger Palooza, I'm the boss. All right. I am the okay. copy, the tutti copy. So what's number two? Of Stranger Palooza. I am the captain of captains, of the love, boss of bosses, of all the ultimate decider. That is good under the sun. The CEO. Okay. 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 We got uh, it. We got yeah. it. What's number two? Uh, the CCO, chief creative officer also. Oh, you can definitely have that title. All the titles <laughs> are on me. So I make the final decision. <gasps> so number, number one and number two are really, really, really close. I just want to say this. And Lola does not agree with number two being number two. Right. Okay. So do you? So, what's number so two? should I say what number yeah. two is? Because you, okay. you should say what number two okay. is. Okay. So number two is the American Coach Ford Patriot MD2, which is about 175k, you know, and I think it is. So basically, what that is is a Ford Transit all-wheel drive. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is the most awesome, like what you guys see here behind us. Mm -hmm. It's all of that, but then with uh, more luxury from That's American right. Coach from all the luxury right. and quality and everything that those guys put into their build. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's really cool. Uh, I yeah, thought it was I, awesome. Yeah, I, thought, I thought it was awesome. Yeah. I thought it was nice to see a Ford Transit done American coach style. Yeah. And they didn't disappoint. I mean, all the appointments of the leather and the stitching and, you know, the uniformity, the matching, the quality was all there. I mean, yeah. it's ready to go. Now, yeah. the one that we had the chance to see was still kind of in prototype mode, but right. we know what their end results look like. Yeah, so and they're out me, there. So I have seen those show up at Sunshine okay. State RV, and I'm probably going to do something on it, but I've got to find, like, I don't know. Because I've already done the video, I didn't do one yet. So mm -hmm. I'm always looking when I do the videos at Sunshine State RV to bring something different and cool to you guys. So when I see something that is, for some reason, I'm like, oh, this is cool. Let's do this. You you guys will see me do that video with Nick. Who knows what it's going to be? It, it could be that, um, that American Coach puts uh, the roof racks and stuff like that on there. They're known for that. Like, right. The one of the things I want to say about this is when you so American Coach has done Sprinter vans, and I think they also have a um, they've done ProMaster, and anything okay. they do, they do with their awesome build. So now the weird thing with American Coach is they're really Midwest automotive design, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's part of Rev Group. And people get a little bit confused. Someone was telling me the other day we did when we did um, that video with the 
chassis length, length mm-hmm. that they were like, oh, you didn't you didn't give any credit to um, American Midwest Automotive. Midway, yeah, Midwest Automotive Design. Yeah. They're the same company, but American Coach part of it is like a separation, a brand separation mm-hmm. that has something to do with territories or That's right. whatever. Basically the same thing. Yes. And so their builds are awesome and they build in everything. They mm-hmm. build in ProMaster, they build in Sprinter, they and now they're obviously building with the Ford. The mm-hmm. So now when you look at their Mercedes, the Sprinters, those things are beautiful because the Sprinters are beautiful in the first place, but then American Coach keeps that awesome, like the wood interior, you know, mm-hmm. they keep it all uniform through mm-hmm. there. So if you get a Mercedes, it feels like a Mercedes all the way through. But if you get a ProMaster, it's like, wow, this is the lap of luxury. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they added that to Ford because that's what Ford is missing. That's what that's what Mercedes has over the Ford vans. Yeah. Yes. The Mercedes, the Sprinter vans look better than the Fords by a little bit, mm-hmm. you know, and they just have this like feeling of luxury. Yeah, that's right. But they mm-hmm. don't have any power. I'm just. We got it. The first. Did second, I mention? Third, I don't time. think I mentioned that to anyone. You did. But they don't have any power, <laughs> Lola. <laughs> There's no power in a Sprinter van. So that's what makes this really cool that American <gasps> Coach yeah, put th- no, what they do. Yeah. They put it on this. So that van's lithium, you know, just awesome luxury inside of it. I wouldn't go with the matte black. No, personally, because we I mean, live in Florida. Seen, yeah, but as you guys seen, can we've see. seen like it's, uh, it's matte December blue. 24th. I know. What's the degrees out here? 74. Yeah. So I don't want matte black. Yeah, but we've seen we've seen a matte blue, steel blue, gray. They do other yeah, colors. American so. Coach does awesome yeah. colors. You yeah, can custom, you can get custom colors from them, and that's mm-hmm. just what's fantastic. Yep, you sure can. About what they do, and uh, you know we're arguing about which if this should be number one or whatever. And I would tell you guys, out of all the the vans that we talk about in this video, mm-hmm. if I had to choose one to buy, if I had to get rid of my van, which I love this Beyond behind me, mm-hmm. it's awesome. This is more gone. And That's Morgan right. will always, you know, I'm keeping Morgan around for a long time, Lola. Good to know, because I yeah. don't want to spend more money. But if I had to buy, out of these five mm-hmm. videos we're mm-hmm. talking about, if I had to buy just one, I would buy this, but I would get it in a different, like a lighter color. Yeah. And I would want the roof rack, the roof which rack. they're working on that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's I would, just a supply and yeah. demand thing. They'll but that's, that's what makes Storyteller so cool. You can, you can get that stuff right now from Storyteller if you... If you do yes, it, uh, do American Coach foot. is working mm-hmm. on all of that, mm-hmm. and we probably will see that. I don't want to make any promises for them, um, but yeah, what, what did you think about this? This, you, why did you want this to be number one? Well, I I thought this was number should be number one because mm-hmm. it's the most finished. Okay, for me, mm-hmm. because uh, I like the Touareg build. Uh, mm-hmm. So far as the sliding doors, Mercedes. interior design uh, was great, but there's no shower or bathroom in there. Right. Uh, American mm-hmm. Coach gives you that um, right. already. This is, this is obviously bigger. This is as big as you it's, can get for right. for um, for Ford, and I don't think we'll see anything bigger for a while. I was talking to Ron for American Coach, and he said that. Um, Ford, he doesn't think is going to do a bigger van anytime soon. I don't think any soon. of them are going to do a bigger yeah, van anytime soon. The supply right. and, and he doesn't is, think Mercedes is going to get more power. No, the supply and demand is there for what's, what they're already making. So yeah. why fix something that's not broken? Yeah. Um, so the the American coach, it, it has everything. So at the uh, storyteller is nice. But again, the cassette the cassette and the shower situation is unfamiliar mm-hmm. to me. So I wouldn't go with that. I don't, I'm not interested to see. Um, so that's out. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talk, story trail again. The shower, cassette, toilet, I'm not familiar yeah. with, so I, that, I wouldn't go for that. Uh, the Tory didn't have a, a shower or a toilet properly. Mm-hmm. And then now this. Yeah. And to me, I think this just is everything. This is the that most I'm, finished and the closest most finished, to perfection for closest you. Closest to perfection. It's luxurious. It's stylized. Right. It's ready to go. Yeah. I really, truly believe in my heart of hearts that not just American Coach, but I think American Coach, Coachman, anyone else who's building on the the Ford Transit chassis Mm -hmm. and using this big van, I believe that they can get more out of them. Now they tell us that they can't. This is one of the things that I think is, and this is why the number one, I chose it to be the number one over this. Lola wanted the number one to be the number two and this to be the number one. And you guys can tell us if, if I messed up or whatever here. Uh, I, I I didn't mess up, but you, you know, if, if it makes you feel better, you can go ahead and do that. Mm-hmm. Because I think that they can squeeze more out of it. They're telling us, no, we can't squeeze. I think they can get two seats. So behind the driver and passenger, I think they could put two more seats. This, the American coach has a bench in the back. 
and that converts right. into a bed. Mm -hmm. But you can actually buckle up people and put them in the back. And put three people back But the there. ride is different mm -hmm. for those people in the back. I think if the two seats were right behind the driver and the passenger, mm -hmm. That's what I hear. it would be better. Right. And I think, but people tell, oh, we can't do that. So I think that they can squeeze a little bit more room in mm -hmm. there. I would, if I was, go, you know, I prefer, like we have the rare bath, but if it wasn't, if it wasn't the rare bath, I would be very happy with a big bed back there and maybe like a big storage garage under that, you know, but there's just, no one's doing that with the Fords. And they're saying somehow they can't squeeze more out of it. So that's why I thought like, American Coach really built a fantastic mm -hmm. van and I think they've won awards and all that and I congratulate them mm -hmm. on it. But I wish that the folks that, that we know out there who give the any value of builders. Well, would yeah, if they give any the yes, if they give any value to our opinion, take a look at this video or look at these at the mod vans for example that we're going to cuz that's number 1 Lola. Right. That's let's number see, 1. I'm going to go into, into that. Yes. Go the into number it. 1 is Mod Vans the MH1 uh which is a transit uh all wheel drive. It's it's about 140,000 the one we saw. Mm -hmm. This video is our you'll find it in uh what the Overland East. We saw it at Overland East. Mm -hmm. And so there's a video that we did there. Um we did so first of all we did two videos where we split up everything from the two days. Mm -hmm. And um, then uh, we, I pulled out a video just on Mod Vans, mm -hmm. which is up on the channel right now. And you guys can take a look at this. So the MH1 is the biggest one, as big as this mm -hmm. transit here. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a couple of things that, to me, they squeezed everything that I'm saying, right. they squeezed it in. So there. in the MH1, there's the bump out in the back. Right. Which, which so other, I mean, I think Storyteller does a bump out too. But their bump out was bigger. Yeah, Storyteller um, did do a bump out, but they did the smaller van. Storyteller only builds on those 19-foot vans. Okay. That's all they build on. They don't build, by the way, they won't build on Promasters. Okay. So they only build on Sprinter, and mm -hmm. then up till now, now they're adding um, the transit. transit. Mm -hmm. And I think they should just get rid of the Sprinter altogether and just only build on Transit. But that's, that's me. So, so with the so MH1. So if you want big. Right. If so, you want big. Right. The MH1 can seat seven people. Well, it depends on your configuration. So the thing yeah. with the mod vans is that it's modular, so you can order it however you need it mm -hmm. for your for your intended purposes. Right. So they do the bump out, which gives mm -hmm. more room in the back for sleeping horizontal. I guess it gives you a queen size bed. Yeah. Um, so what, what, what I don't know what the I don't know if I'm saying the right name, but right in the back. So if you move out of the way, Lola, mm -hmm. look, see right back here. And this back window is the the window is bumped out or extended out on both sides. Right. So and mod vans actually you can come back in, Lola. Uh -huh. You can come back in. <laughs> right, and so they, they do that. Mod, they do mod that. vans builds it themselves, mm -hmm. and and but that doesn't mean other companies can't build that. No, and because they did that, they did a bed east west in there. Uh -huh. That's a queen size bed. That's a queen, queen size, size bed. bed. So yes, and then a big garage under that. A big garage underneath that. Yes, and then, and then they then had the driver and passenger, and then you could put two seats behind Two more that, seats behind which there. Which you could take out if you want. Right. You can remove those, mm -hmm. put them back in, which you could do with other, like, uh, so Coachman builds a Mercedes mm -hmm. that has those has two, seats. two seats. You could take them out. So does American Coach. So does American Coach. Mm -hmm. So do other people. That's right. Right, but I'm talking about in the transit. Yes, so yeah. so in the transit, you don't see a four-seater transit. No. Typically two. Yeah. So Mod Vans does do that. They had and everything. Then, and Lola, then they, they also... Had a, they had a pop-top. Yep, you could they had sleep pop two top. adults up there. They do. Mod Vans has a special... So mm -hmm. some companies are afraid of doing the pop-top thing. Now, I'm not saying I, I personally don't need a pop-top. You like pop-tops. I, I, I think it's a cool idea when our sons were young. Our sons right. aren't young anymore, so yeah. I don't... But I you don't can sleep it. adults up there. You can. You yeah, can I'm not sleeping up there. Up there. Okay. I'm not sleeping up there. But yes, if you wanted a van that you could truly take four people with you, that you can seat them comfortably, like mm -hmm. up front with you mm -hmm. or right behind you, mm -hmm. and then you can sleep them but by popping the thing, right. that's what you got. And then plus there's a bathroom in there. They didn't get rid of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's big. That so, one, that one did have a bathroom. It has like a saw. bathroom that goes up and down, Lola, uh, the yes, shower. Yes, and then the even the bathroom, the, bathroom the, mm -hmm. the toilet, it's yeah. a, okay, it's a cassette oh, toilet. Right. So but it's got this cool in and out thing. Mm -hmm. So, this is awesome. so like the shower could go yes, up and I give you more listen, room, I, and the toilet I, can move right. out of the way. When it comes to innovation, very, yes. yes, 
they, yes. they, Mod Van shows what's possible. Mm -hmm. You know, what you can do, how you can make it uh, fit more people. Um, and I think it's great, I, great for that. You know, mm -hmm. the bump out, the pop up, all of those things are, are nice. But to me, the thing that is lacking is the quality. You know, they didn't have real cabinets in there. It wasn't cabinets of their okay, own. Okay, yes. They were. Like, you know, like a the little... Cabinet, well, no, there's... cab. Well, they, it's kind of like pouches or bags that move yeah. around. They don't have actual cabinets hung no, up in there. No, no. That's true. The insulation is not necessarily as good. That's the right. one that we saw had a bunch of switches in it. Which um, was kind of old school Yeah, looking. but if you get the lithium like version, it, it, it has like an actual iPad that heard, they give you. I remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there was no AC in that one, but that no uh, that's because uh, you, JT, you know, right, he's but French. But you can get it. And he doesn't need an right, AC. Right. You don't need an AC. I need an AC. I need an AC. Yeah. But, okay. he, but he's French, right. so he doesn't need it. So, so, again, they can build it to your specifications yeah. as to what you want, what you need. Um, yeah. if, I, if, if I could get the mod vans, if I could get the mod vans to be built... Like, t first of all, Mod Vans is another one of those boutique companies. Exactly. Yeah, exactly they don't have, say. they've been around for a while, and I think they do cool stuff. And I think the cool, like, if you look at the other combinations that you can get, we're just talking about one. Mod Vans is making vans, like, they make the lower vans that mm -hmm. you can get into a garage, you can get into mm -hmm. a parking lot. Mm -hmm. You know, you can take everything out. You can use that as a work van. Yep. You can you can configure that every yep. day to take the whole family. Mm -hmm. But then when as you guys want to go, van. yeah, mm -hmm. but when you want to make it into an RV, that's why that's why it's awesome, Lola. You gotta give them their credit their credit for being awesome. But they don't have the name like a coachman or no, American coach or Winnebago. Builder, right. Or, you right. know, whatever. Whatever not, other not companies yet, are out not there. Not yet, and anything's yeah. possible. But those and companies can look at what Mod Vans are doing, I, I where they've one. got this actual is, uh, engineers thinking it, about this. this and when these guys say, Oh yeah, no, we can't put a convey yeah. the mod that, that Mod Vans has a oven. Like you're saying. Now, yeah, it has an actual in oven and a it's burner oven in there. and everything. Yeah, the, the fridge is a like a pullout that's in that garage that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. That's all pure awesomeness. I think it's cool. Yeah, there's a lot of it's. That's what I call innovative. And mm -hmm. these guys can look at my vans, and they can uh, take some stuff from them, and then they mm -hmm. can make. And everyone can get better and get more awesome. So yeah, well, that's yeah, that's, that's what. That's what you're all about. You know, how yeah. can we do this better? What right. more can we do to make these Absolutely. class B vans yeah. more awesome? I'm for the people, Lola. <laughs> I'm for the people. You know, I love these companies out there. I, Coachman is my company. I love them. I know. I'm a Coachman dude through and through. They don't pay me or anything like that. Mm -hmm. They don't. They don't pay us. No. No, we bought our van, like I said in the beginning That's of right. this. But they're very, they're very good to us. Uh -huh. You know, Coachman uh, helps us. They take care of us. All of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think American Coach makes fantastic stuff. Uh, you know, I aspire one day to be able to actually afford some, of, order, order some one. of that awesomeness. <laughs> and there's lots of other companies out there. But but really, I would give my award of the number one most innovative van that we saw. There's, like I said, you guys yeah. can argue and tell us about something else that's more awesome. But I would give it to Mod Vans because they... I, I think, you know, they've got engineers over there, Lola. Well, listen, 2020, these guys, these are some 2022 smart dudes. is around the corner. We've got a lot of travel planned for 2022. Mm -hmm. So we will see a lot more vans and we will share all that with you guys. Are you trying there. to make me end and this then, video now? Because we'll I'm not do done ranting. Video and we'll see. I don't think I'm not done ranting yet. I want, I want to do a little bit. More. No, OK. We can, we can wrap up this video. Congratulations to Mod Vans. It's awesome. Uh, congratulations to everyone that made our list, if you guys care. <laughs> um, you know, I really, you know me. I'm, the things I'm passionate about, that's what I make videos about. I know. So anyone who Googles Hank Strange, you can see what I do. And I talk from a point of view of passion, right? Very important to me. And I know there's folks out there who watch this stuff and mm -hmm. appreciate it because of that. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. Um, so... Thanks to all of those guys. You guys, let us know if you you know if you agree, don't agree, what you think. You know, absolutely. Just get into get into a, a, a and what vans you guys have seen it, yeah. out there, or maybe there are other boutique builders in your area that you think we should take a look at. Like I right. said, we've got a lot planned for 2022. We'll be traveling, yeah. and maybe we'll be able to stop in and right. take a look at. Some Tell of your us what you want us to look at in 2022. Mm -hmm. What companies we should take a look at? Uh, you know where. And by the way, if you're a company and you would like us to come out and visit you. And maybe tour your factory or take a look at the vans that you're making or see you in a show. We'll be happy to do that. Mm -hmm. Next year, we'll be at Tampa. 
And Ocala for sure. And Ocala for sure. We're Mm going to try to do, we're definitely going to go to Overland East, but I'm going to try to do West and Central and Mountain. And, um, oh, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Central is Mountain, but I don't know about all of those. (laughs) And there's even a van thing. Like, I'll try to do more. I'll try to do more and go to more places, but you guys can tell me. Exactly. And hopefully we get Lola to go with us. We'll see. Some of those places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If she can, I don't know if she can put up, she can't deal with this much passion. Sometimes the passion is too much for Lola Strange. <laughs> Sometimes she's got to, she needs it dialed down. My passion is at 11. Sometimes she I need needs, needs it at a four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you, Lola. I love you. And <gasps> I appreciate you, you supporting me in all of this stuff. Um, and and uh, what else we got to say to the people? Is that, is that it? it? Yes. That's Make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave your comments and right. all that kind of stuff. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. We're out of here. We'll see you. This is it. This is it.